Welcome to iLecture Online. Here we're beginning a new series of videos on signs and the title Can You Believe It? Because science sometimes is almost beyond belief. And here's an example of one of those things. This morning actually I started thinking about, well, how big is an atom? And what would happen if we line them up? How long would a stretch of atoms or how long would a series of atoms stretch out to if we had a certain number of them? And the number I was thinking about was a mole because a mole is a number that we use in chemistry a lot and also in physics to denote a certain number of molecules or a certain number of atoms. So what is a mole? Well, turns out let's take a look at hydrogen. Hydrogen is an atom that has a single proton and a single electron. Carbon, for example, has six protons and six neutrons in the nucleus and six electrons. So in the nucleus it has a total of 12 nucleons where hydrogen only has one. So we wanted to come up with a number so that if you had that many of atoms, you would have an equivalent number of atoms in grams. For example, if you have one mole of hydrogen atoms, it would have a mass of one gram. And if you had one mole of carbon atoms, you would have a mass of 12 grams. The number 1 and 12 correspond to the number of protons or combination of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. So how big is that mole? How many would you need? Well, a dozen is, of course, the number 12. If you have a dozen eggs, you have 12 eggs. If, if you have a mole of atoms, you have this many atoms, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. It's kind of hard to imagine how big a number that is, but if you were to write it out, that's what it is. One mole is this many of something. In this case, of course, we're talking about atoms. So then the question was, if we were to line up hydrogen atoms side by side, and you'd have this many of them. Now, there would be equivalent of one gram of hydrogen. And how much is one gram of anything? Well, here's a little object like that, and that would, that's about one gram. So if you have one gram of material, you have about this much of it. So this much hydrogen stretched out side by side, if you were to take the individual atoms, how long of a line would you have? And here's the line, so here's all the hydrogens. Of course, they're very tiny. How tiny is a hydrogen? Well, the diameter of a single hydrogen atom is about 106 picometers. That's 105.8 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. But of course, the mole is a lot of these atoms. So if you were to stretch them all out side by side, of course, they're touching, and you put them side by side, how long of a line of atoms would you have if you have this much hydrogen in atoms lined up? So I did a few calculations. Essentially, you want to multiply the diameter of a single one times the number of atoms you're going to line up and the result was absolutely astounding. Well, to uh, give us a good comparison, here's the distance between the Earth and the Moon and the distance is 385,000 kilometers or in miles is 239,000 miles from the Earth to the Moon. Well, this line of hydrogen atoms, if you have one mole of them, one gram of hydrogen, it would line up to make a line where it would be 170,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Imagine that. It's almost beyond belief. I can almost not believe it. You take one gram of hydrogen, the atoms that would add up to one gram of hydrogen, and you line them up, you would get a line that would be 170,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon about 65 billion kilometers. Can you believe it? Well, let's write it out. 65 billion kilometers. 170,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. You want to see all the zeros? All right. 65 with nine zeros behind it. There you go. Oh. Astounding. How far would that be to the planet? Well, it would be way beyond Pluto. Right? It's, uh, Pluto is only about, what, 5 billion kilometers away from here? So it would be 13 times the distance between here and Pluto, for example. Oh, yes, it would be right outside our solar system. Yeah, it, it's, I was actually surprised to see how many atoms there are in a single mole. Well, that's it.